Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you. We Muslims should unite upon the way of the righteous predecessors. In our journey as Muslims, we are blessed with a rich legacy and clear path illuminated by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his righteous companions, the Sahabas. May Allah be pleased with them. The guidance they left behind is not merely historical. It is the living blueprint for achieving Allah's pleasure and attaining success in both this life and the hereafter. Our righteous predecessors, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the early scholars lived in the purest form of Islam. Allah praised them in the Quran and promised them paradise, affirming his pleasure with them. Allah says in Quran chapter 9 verse number 100 and the four and the first forerunners in the faith among the muhajirin and the ansar and those who followed them with good conduct allah is pleased with them and they are pleased with him and he has prepared for them gardens beneath which rivers flow wherein they will abide forever that is the great attainment these early generations are our role models because they had the purest hearts and they were the most knowledgeable and they were the furthest away from extremism. They lived in the language and the context of the Quran's revelation, witnessing it firsthand and understanding its deepest meanings and purposes. The Prophet ﷺ testified that these companions were the best people of this ummah, of this nation. He said, the best of my nation is my generation and then those who followed them and then those who followed them. Al-Bukhari. This statement shows the unparalleled virtue and understanding of the earliest Muslims. They embody the purest form of Islamic practices and they are free from innovation and devi deviant practices. We Muslims should stay away from divisions and we should stay away from innovation. In our times, we witness the fragmentation of the Muslim community into various sects and the introduction of practices not rooted in the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad and his companions. The Prophet warned us about these divisions saying that his nation would divide into 73 sects, all of which would be in hellfire except one who are those they are those who follow his guidance and that of his companions this warning calls us to unite upon the authentic teachings of islam and to avoid innovations and corrupted practices stay away from modern liberal ideologies and practices these ideologies and practices are often conflict with the pure teachings of islam we should stay away from these uh, ideologies. Instead, we must anchor ourselves firmly in the understanding and the practice of the Sahaba. The path to salvation lies in adhering to the Sunnah of the Prophet and the understanding of his companions. We must strive to learn and practice Islam as they did, embracing their values and principles. Dear Muslims, let us commit to unite upon the way of the righteous predecessors. Let us reject innovations and corrupted religious practices, staying true to the authentic teachings of Islam. This unity is not just about external practices, but about a unified heart and purpose, striving together for the pleasure of Allah. By following the examples of the Sahabas, we strengthen our community fortify our faith and ensure that our actions lead us towards Allah's eternal reward. May Allah guide us, protect us from division and keep us steadfast on the path of the righteous predecessors. May He unite our hearts and grant us success in this life and the hereafter. <laughs>